Hey, we are back in the studio. We hope you guys enjoyed our 2014 New York Auto Show coverage as much as we enjoyed shooting it, right? Oh, yeah. It was a good time. If you haven't seen them yet, shame on you. But the links for all three days are in the description, so you can check that out whenever you want. To the news we go. Audi and BMW showing some really cool stuff in Beijing. BW says, uh, let's give the Golf 4 a horsepower and see what happens. Mercedes Concept Coupe picks and the Phaeton luxury sedan is coming back. Plus, we have everyone's favorite segment, right? Doing it wrong. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you're watching Fast Lane Daily, Studio Edition, AK. Yeah, great to be back in the studio. It's good, although I like being out of the studio. That too. That's fun too. It's good to be back. VW might bring the Phaeton sedan back here to the U.S. in the future. Hold on. Oh, this just in. CEO Michael Horn has confirmed we will see the new Phaeton model here in 2018, 2019. Also just confirmed that everyone watching this is just like, tell me that news in like four years when it's actually relevant. Just saying. Okay. BMW had some solid debuts at the 2014 New York Auto Show with the X4 and the M4 convertible. But at the Beijing Motor Show, they showed this gem called the Vision Future Luxury Concept, the VFLC. And damn, does it look good. Kind of smushed and stretched, but I say that in the best way possible. Like, it looks good that way. All kinds of new styling, and it's built with lightweight carbon fiber. Oh, but Derek D, uh, what's this powered by? I'm glad you asked. 8,000 horsepower. What? Yeah. No, BMW actually didn't say yet. It's a concept, people. So slow your rolls. However, what's cool is this concept hints at the next generation 7 series, which is scheduled to come out in 2015, so it could be on the roads a lot sooner than later. Also, let's see if the production version actually looks like this concept version. We hope so. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be exact, but hopefully a lot of design elements will go from there to the production version. Last week, earlier in the week, we mentioned Mercedes was working on a BMW X6 rival, and we showed you a teaser image. Well now, not so much a tease anymore because we got official images. And while the overall shape looks similar to the X6, the concept coupes look, looks pretty unique. The front is all recent Mercedes like the S-Class Coupe concept and a few other recent models. The rear shows a full cross the body LED tail light, which may or may not make it to production. I mean, you never know with these things. Although those three openings under the grill in the front, it, look, it looks, they kind of look like frontal exhausts. I know of course they aren't, but I'm just saying I, I don't think I dig it. Mm. It's weird. You also got a panoramic sunroof, lots of chrome, and some body flush door handles. You need those on a concept. A twin turbo three liter V6 making 333 horsepower and 354 pound feet of what, Erica? Torque. That's right. That is what's gonna make you move, and you're looking at a production model in late 2015. So, uh, late next year. Right, okay? Mm. You got it. At the Beijing Motor Show, VW brought a golf. But no, this was no ordinary golf. It was a one wood. Ah, uh, no, I'm just kidding. This was a performance oriented golf with just under 400 horsepower and 332 pound feet of. Sure. That's right. The R400 concept uses an all wheel drive setup, six speed dual clutch transmission, and some aggressive bodywork to perform like a boss. Boss. <laughs> Zero to 60 begins and ends its life in just 3.9 seconds. That's from a two liter turbo four cylinder, by the way, almost 400 horses, and tops out at 174 miles per hour. Other cool features include carbon fiber trim and upgraded suspension, beefier brakes, big alloy wheels, yellow trim, racing sports seats, and all kinds of goodies. We have no idea about production, but with numbers like these, I'd say a limited run would probably carry a $200,000 price tag or something. I mean, it's gonna be up there if it ever goes, I'm just saying. Moving on to Audi, they promised to reveal several new concepts this year and they've kept their word so far. Now we can add a new concept to the list with the, uh, this, the TT Off-Road. It's, uh, it was shown at the Beijing Motor Show. The TT Off-Road borrows styling from the 2015 TT, but adds a couple more doors and several inches of ride height. Besides the unique styling, the concept uses a hybrid setup of a two liter turbo four cylinder paired with a small electric motor. Now that combination is good for an impressive 
How much, how much horsepower do you think, Max? Uh, I'm 408. 408? Yeah. He's exactly correct. And 479 pound-feet of, what, what do you think that is, Erica? I think it might be twist. Twist, yeah. That's another version of torque. Right. <laughs> In all-wheel drive setup, the concept can hit 60 in just how many seconds do you think, Tom? Uh, 3.8. Close. Not even. 5.2. <laughs> and it tops out at a limited 155 miles per hour. If a production model is made from this, it would likely be a hybrid Q4 badged model. So, TT off-road. Yeah. Loving those TTs. Time to enjoy the failings of other people and everyone's favorite Tuesday segment, we like to call Doing It Wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> I try to say it differently every time, don't I? Now, there are a lot of ways to unload a car from a truck. Now, most of the time, it's not from the side of a truck bed like in this video. So you may just have to, you know, really look at it, do some more thinking, analyze or how we can get that car out. Maybe we'll use a, you know, you could figure it out. So whichever friend in this video was like, hey, bro, Let's just throw some 2x6s under the car and it should theoretically slide right down it like rails. Well, let's see how they fared. Oh, yeah. Snap City. Yeah. <laughs> car falls out, game over. Well, hey, I guess look on the bright side of this. Right, AK? The car is out already. It's out of the truck and it's on its side. Now, all you have to do is pull the truck away and all those dudes that are in this video just push it right side up. Yeah, yeah. That's all you have to do. But then whoever owns it will have to drive it home, only to have his wife look at the scratched up side and be like, damn it, Frank, did you use those two by sixes again? You're doing it wrong. This marriage is all wrong. We're done. That's, that's what she's going to say. That's what the wife's going to say. Do we have that footage or no? We don't have that footage. I'm going to work on getting that. There you go. You want to see that? The link is in the description if you want to watch it over and over again. It's pretty funny. Our FLD question of the day today is, what was your favorite part of our 2014 New York Auto Show coverage? All right, it could be a car that we talked about, could be something we did, I don't know. Just let us know. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D. We always like to get that feedback, right, AK? Yeah. It's good to know what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. Yeah. You know, we don't do everything right. What was your favorite part? My favorite part? Yeah. Uh, I really like that Z06. I mean, that's just my favorite. I would just like, if I could take a car from there, that or the Alfa Romeo which I know you don't. Yeah, I like that yeah, a lot. Well, that's going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. But remember, this Thursday, April 24th, we'll be back at the New York Auto Show shooting an episode on a public day. That's right. So if you live in the tri-state area, get on over there, and you'll see us and actually Bob Schumann. Oh, really? Bob Schumann Jr. is going to be there. Huh. Yeah, we figured getting him on a public day is better. So yeah, we'll be shooting there on Thursday for Friday's episode, all right? I'm Derek D, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Did I say that already? I think I did. Not worried about it. I hope Bob Schumann's in a good mood. I know. Usually. Sometimes he is. I saw, like, in the comments, someone's like, I'll say what I said in the comments of yesterday's episode. I do not like the new Charger. <laughs> it's like, who's following your comments, guys? Yeah. <laughs> well, there was one guy for about, he hasn't done it anymore, for about two years straight. He just wrote Derek D as a homo. <laughs> yeah, what happened to him? I wish he was still here. I really I really loved his dedication. You can view how you choose to fastlanedaily.com or YouTube hosted by my man Derek D. Subscribe right now. Don't just take it from me.